In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can get your color sensor working on your Lego Spike Prime robots. Now with the color sensor, it does basically what the name suggests, it senses different colors. So we're going to get our robot looking for different colors today. To get started on this tutorial, we're going to make a new project in the Lego Education Spike app. Make sure you are also on the Spike Prime setting, not the Spike Essential, before you get started. Okay, so go and click the new project button and give it a name. I might just call it colors and we're going to work with word blocks today for our code and we're going to click create once your page loads up the next thing you need to do is make sure your robot is connected to the computer as you can see mine is already connected because I can see all the different ports that I've got um, with things plugged into them if you're not connected you'll just need to click this button here and make sure you connect either via USB or Bluetooth Alrighty, so when you are ready to start coding, I'm just going to zoom in here so you can see a bit clearer. Actually, you've got this yellow block of code in at the start, so when the program starts, should be your first block of code. It's just saying when we press this play button down in the bottom right corner, what do we want our robot to do? Well, the first thing we want to do is get our robot moving. We want it driving straight. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go to our movement tab here and tell the computer which ports our wheels or our motors are plugged into. So we can see it across the top here, they're already plugged into the A and B ports, but we need to tell the computer that in our code. So we bring out the block that says set movement motors to A plus B. And in my case, I actually need to click on the A plus B and switch them around to B plus A, otherwise it would have driven backwards. Now your wheels might not be plugged into those ports, so feel free to click on the ports that they are plugged into. But I'm going to stick with B plus A so my robot moves in the right direction. Now the next thing I'm going to do to get my robot moving straight is bring out the block of code that says start moving. Instead of going right 30 degrees, I'm just going to bring that arrow back up to the top so it's moving straight or zero degrees. And that's just going to get my robot moving straight continuously. It's not going to stop for anything. It's just going to keep on moving straight and keep on turning those wheels around. All right, so that's good to start with, but we do want our robot to stop once it hits the color yellow in this task. So what we're going to do is go to our control tab now and bring in a block of code that says wait until. So we're going to keep moving straight until our color sensor picks up the color yellow. So we now need to go to our sensors code here. And if you look at the top, you've got the um, four blocks of code that relate to the color sensor. You can tell that by the little icon there. We're actually going to use the first one. Just drag that out into the wait until block here. So we're waiting until our color sensor, which is plugged into port D. You can see that it's plugged into port D up the top here. Yours might be in a different port though, so feel free to change that. So once our color sensor in port D is sensing the color red, we're actually going to change that to the color yellow. So click on the little red box there and choose yellow. So we wait until the color sensor picks up the color yellow, and when it does, we need to tell the robot what to do. It's quite simple. I'm just going over to movement again and telling the robot to stop moving. And that's it. That's our first task done. So we've got our robot moving straight. So it just keeps on driving in a straight line, and it's going to keep driving until it senses the color yellow. When it does, it's going to stop moving. All right, so it's time to test that out now. So feel free to go down the bottom press play and let's see if your robot can run over something yellow. So in my example, I'm going to use a yellow sheet of paper. When it hits that yellow sheet of paper, I'm expecting my robot to stop. So let's have a look at that now. All right, so that's pretty straightforward. One little trick I want to show you here as well is if you look up the top here where you've got your color sensor plugged into port D or whichever port yours is plugged into, there's a little black dot and the number zero underneath it. Watch this black dot as I move it around on my desk. I've got a book here with a reddish colored cover. As I move my color sensor over it, you can see that little black dot is changing to red because it is now picking up the color red. If I move it away and just hold it up in the air, you can see it's got the line through that color now. So that little box with a line through it, remember that means it can't sense any color. So it's detecting air basically. I've got something bluish on my desk now as well. If I run the color sensor over that, you can see it's looking 
at the color blue as well. So that's just a little trick to make sure your color sensor is working. So when you run it over different colors, that little circle there should change to the color it's picking up. All right, so it's time to have a go at adding a little bit more to this code. What I want to do is I want to get my robot now detecting multiple pieces of yellow paper. Okay, so I want my robot basically running forever and stopping each time it finds a yellow piece of paper. After it stops, we could maybe play a little noise and then it will drive off and start looking for some more yellow paper. So it's basically going exploring. So let's add something to this code. What I might do is I might change this movement speed up here. I forgot to do that before. I have been telling everyone that it's a good habit to set your movement speed up at the very top here. So let's stick with that. We'll set it to about 50% speed today. We, we don't want it going too quick. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to keep driving until we spot something yellow and then we're going to stop moving. We might play a sound here now. So let's go to sounds and we'll just play a beep. Just something simple. Uh, so we'll play beep 60 and we might do it for one second. So your robot's just going to let out a little beep when it spots the color yellow. Um, and after that, what we need it to do, instead of just sitting there, we want it to drive off the yellow piece of paper so it can continue moving. So I'm going to go back to my movement and I'm going to tell my robot to move straight again for say, let's go 30 centimeters. That will get him off the first piece of paper. And then to get him driving again, we're going to need a forever loop. And this forever loop is just going to go around this section here. Okay, so our robot starts driving forward and it will keep driving forward or straight until it spots something yellow. When it spots something yellow, it's going to stop moving. It's going to play a beep for one second. And then it's going to start moving straight for 30 centimeters. That just moves our robot off that initial yellow piece of paper. Once it has moved off that piece of paper, there will be a little jitter, but then it will loop around and start moving straight again. So I'm just going to keep on driving until it spots the next yellow piece of paper. All right, so that's our next little challenge, or our next task all finished. So let's go and test that now by pressing play to make sure our robot can sense multiple pieces of paper in front of it. All right, so that is looking pretty good. I've got one last thing I want to show you though. I want to show you that your robot doesn't always have to sense the color yellow. What if we want to find pieces of paper, for example, that are red and blue and green and yellow, all those different colors. We can actually code it up to do that. And it's not much different to what we've already done. It's just this wait until section that we're going to need to work on. Okay, I'm going to duplicate this four times. And I'm going to change the colors like what I said before. We're going to have yellow, red, we're going to have green, and we're going to have blue. So four pretty common colors. And when our robot sees any of these four colors, we're going to get it to stop, play a beep, move off the piece of paper, and then loop around and start moving straight again. So it's going to go exploring for some more colors. And the way we put these four colors into our code is we go to our operators here, and we're going to use the OR operators. So I'm just going to drop two of them in that one. And I'm going to bring out another OR operator here. And we'll put the other two in that one. All right, and finally we'll put another OR just in here. And just put them in their boxes. Doesn't matter what order. Now that is pretty big, but I'll zoom back a bit here. So basically what we're saying is if our robot now senses the color green or the color blue, or the yellow, or the red, then we do what we did before. We stop moving, play a beep, drive off that piece of paper for 30 centimeters, do a little jitter, not that we want it to do that, but it just does that by default, and loop around and start doing it all over again. All right, so let's test out this last piece of code just to make sure that our robot is sensing different colors.
All right, so that's looking good. Um, that's pretty much all I'm going to show you with the color sensor. You now know how to get that color sensor on your robot to detect different colors. Um, it can also detect different things as well. If you want to get a little bit more fancy, you can, um, I think you can get it to look at reflections and you can also get it to sense natural light as well. But they are for tutorials further down the track. For now, we are just focusing on color. So I will see you in the next video.